Hey, good morning. So I've already gone ahead and I have flattened the route. So real quick, just so you can see what the original one looks like. I actually have two harnesses in this assembly. Um, and we're right now we're just working with this. I know this is a small example, but it's what we'll get to in the flatten is what I want to show. So back in the flattening, after I flatten it, I can I can actually move my connectors around a little bit if I need to, just so I can see the fan out a little bit better. A lot of times when it first gets flattened, it's kind of overlapping. So you can kind of move them out a little bit. Uh, from here, now you can go ahead and create a drawing of this. And once you have the drawing, you now have the ability to obviously add these in. I can turn my sketches off so we don't see those. Um, change the size, whatever I need here. Uh, let's go with, uh, let's try a, a two to one and see what that looks like, just so we can kind of see it. Um, so now what we can do is once you have this, obviously now you can add balloons and you can add dimensioning or, or obviously change the font to these. That's really what that's supposed to show. Um, but now I can actually select the individual part, even from the drawing here. And we can see our connector, right? All I need to do is open it. And now inside of back in the drawing again, I have the ability to select that other connector. And once I do that, different views show up for that connector. So now I can come in and depending on what view I want, I can drop that into place. It may take some cleaning up. In this case here, it's capturing all the different information. So obviously that's really dirty looking right there. Um, let's go ahead and change the size to this. And there's a couple options where I can have that turned off already. Why those are all in there uh, in this view. It's kind of gross looking, obviously. We can we can either simply delete them all or go through and get rid of all that stuff. Let's see here. If I just do this. There we go. Uh, maybe some of that information you want to capture, you don't have to. Um, obviously, if the sheet was bigger, typically I'd put it out here. Um, and now I can also add my tables as necessary. But it's very simple to come in, find the part I want. Even from the drawing, I don't have to go back to the assembly to do this. And then just say open that particular part. We'll find that model. To simply minimize it so it stays open and again back over here I can find that other part and depending on what view I want I th even though it says front view it just depends on how that that part was um, created originally so let's go in I'll take the top view this time and see what it looks like Yeah, all these extra dimensions and stuff appearing are just because I haven't really set up a format for this sheet. So pretty straightforward. Um, again, let's go ahead and I'll just change the size. If I want to, typically that little lock is on the top. I'll go ahead and change that. And now we have our other view. I'll put it up here for now. Um, you can manipulate the views a little bit more and edit the views. 
and put numbers in here for like pin one, pin two, whatever it may be. In this case, pin one down there, right? So, um, but that's, I find this to be a lot easier to deal with going this route rather than trying to go through the routing library manager. However, if you, there are ways through the routing library manager, um, at least it used to be, I have to double check. I'm in 2021, just an FYI, I'm in 2021. Um, that you can save everything to your design library um, and have everything built into your parts and stuff like that. So now, um, next time you need these, you can simply drag and drop them in. Um, but a lot of different projects, depending on what you're working with, different connectors, it may not be the best idea to have it in your design library. So again, open the part, and then now you have the different views available to you. It's just very simply flipping this drop-down menu here to find the appropriate part. Thank you.